Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with a new 12-12 AD campaign and I had hinted that we were going to do a new one and as you can see we are playing as the Seljuks of Rum. Uh, so yeah, I decided that we haven't, it's an interesting faction to try out, obviously right in the middle of uh, like the Byzantine successors and uh, between the Crusaders as well. So I felt like well, there's a good opportunity to expand and it's also a bit of a challenge because we are surrounded by a lot of enemies. Um, Actually, to be fair though, even though Nicaea like us, that's kind of interesting. But yes, so we are playing as the Seljuk Sultanate of Rum, wants to be a mighty empire stretching from, uh, well, like all the way in, like from Persia all the way to, uh, well, Anatolia and all the way like down here uh, into Holy Land. But now we are just merely a little Sultanate here in Anatolia. And we are going to try and rebuild this empire bigger and better than ever. Um, I haven't really exactly decided what I'm going to do. I may go west and just like take Constantinople um, Just for like our Ottoman successes to like never be able to do or I may just go east and reconquer a lot of the lands that we uh, That we once had I'm not quite sure exactly if you guys have like any ideas what you'd rather see me do Whether you'd like to see me go west and threaten Europe or you'd like me to go east and retake the old lands of the Empire let me know in the comments, I'd really like your uh, input on this campaign, as I always do. I always want to have your guys' input, so if you've got like some like tactics, or you've got some uh, advice, or something like that, feel free to put it down in the comments, as always. But also, if you're looking forward to seeing more of this campaign, please do also do remember to show your support with a like, subscribe, and a comment. And uh, yeah, we'll get on with the campaign, I guess. So, immediate uh, issues, we are at war with Trebizond here, one of the uh, Byzantine successors. And uh, we do have an army here that could go in and strike uh, Snoop straight away. I don't know whether they have an army there. They do, so uh, we won't be going there anytime soon. Also, Ankyra here is a little bit unhappy, so I'm probably going to be sorting out its uh, unhappiness. And that may have to be done. I mean, our money is not great. Our predicted income is not amazing. So uh, we need to really sort that out as well. So, I mean, I could put in, obviously... A small mosque here, which, which improves our uh, happiness. Or I could put in one of these uh, dagas, uh, which helps with like sunny influence. So I don't know which one we really need more. Probably this one, I think, because uh, even though it brings down food, which we also are pretty short on, um, it actually gives me money, which I don't think this one. Yeah, this one doesn't give me money, but that one does. Okay, this army here, my large army, is pretty beaten up. Um, I'm not exactly sure why either. I presume that we had like a battle in history and then like that's what remains the army possibly. I'm not exactly sure why um, it's like that. I'm sure that the Adurbs have a reason. Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably go with uh, maybe a windmill first. I think the other two are not so necessary right now. Yeah, go with a windmill and I certainly don't need to be going across these guys anytime soon. Though they are, they do seem to be a little bit better than some of the other, like the Crusaders, for instance, or like any of the Christian forces. Like these seem to be a little bit better, actually, if I got these ones. Some of them do, anyway. Um, but yes, I guess uh, my empire is a little bit unhappy, you can see. A lot of the places are not happy right now. Um, I could put in food. I don't really know if I want to. could put in a fort, which would make everything a lot happier do that over here instead that's gonna take five turns um i could yeah maybe i'd rather do it there at malatya i think because it's a bit more out in the open spends a lot of my money but that's fine by me and then i'm gonna put this army oh, i can't actually reach anywhere in interesting okay i'm gonna put this army into kaisara instead iconium also is actually not that happy uh, it's because we are in lands that are not our own culture or our own religion. That is why all of these regions are orthodox. And that's probably the reason why everyone hates us. Yeah, religious difference is minus 14, uh, minus 7. Yes, yeah, so that is the reason. So we need to spend a lot of our money building uh, Muslim places of worship. That is what we need to do. But I'm going to do some diplomacy. And I'm going to do some trading with the Ayyubids. Oh, we already have trade. Okay. On aggression? Yeah, I thought you might. Uh, we'll do that. And then I kind of want to have trade with Nicaea. Uh, we actually do have trade with Nicaea. Um, make a vassal? No. Silesia? We have trade with these guys as well. Wow. 
Um, I'm gonna make a non-aggression. Okay, no, it's fine then. If we don't have it, then if we already have trade, you're not gonna damage Today's our trade. Greetings to you. They want 800 for trade. Yeah, I guess. That sorts out the economy a little. That's the only one I'm dare to give money for. Oh, 400, fine. That's less than, less than what I thought it would be. So there you go. I've got a lot of trade now. Uh, Latin Empire, they are probably going to get beaten by nice here. They do not like me. Probably for siding. Yeah, there you go. We're up to 1,000 now in uh, money. So there we go. We're sorting out our trade. We are now trading with the Crusaders, but we can change that. Um, but really, I just need the money to help fund the war against um, Ready for battle. Trebizond up here. I know Trebizond only has one army in this region. It has another one up here in the Crimea. And I know that because of obviously my Trebizond campaign I've done in the past. So uh, I am kind of aware of uh, where they are. So I've got a little bit of an advantage there. I don't think we can build a spy. I don't think anywhere here has a spy. I don't really want a small bazaar, actually. I'd rather have... Though that gives me 300 in commerce, mm, I would prefer to have something that's going to give me more happiness right now. And then relying on having to have, um, rather than relying to have my army's garrison everywhere, I would rather have um, maybe a footwar house. This is an Ahi house, which I presume, yeah, unlocks recruitment of footwar, which I guess we don't Ready really have. For orders. No, we don't actually. Okay. Um, so that's possible. Or the Funduk down here, which I actually think I would rather have the Funduk. So there you go, that's going to take three turns to change over to that. Uh, and then, that's where I'm going to end the turn. Oh, we still need a governor. Okay, actually, yeah, governors, of course, as well, is another way that we can uh, sort out the issue. Um, you, I'm just going to find you to seek a wife. But you can also become, where's our capital? Where is... Uh, where's our, I, Iconium's our capital. Okay, um, yeah, we'll put one in Iconium then. You can be the governor of there. Which I have now no idea which region that is. Laconia or that one. There you go. And then in the turn, we're going to... Oh, we can still assign more governors? Okay, alright. How many can we have? Six. Um, I don't know if I want that many. Landowner, you're going to be pretty good with the old... Um, let's put one in to where's this region down here Pamphylia you were pretty unhappy and I'm not in that region okay I'll do those two for now I'm not too bothered about doing too many more um, Iconium I can definitely put in growth and wealth this one I'm going to put in unfortunately it's going to have to be empower local ruler to just try and make it slightly more happy so we are going to see a little loss in money for a time yeah I know I could put some more in but I don't really have the money and I kind of want to keep some money for building troops and more buildings in the future. So, yeah, there we go. That's not a bad first turn. And there you go. Trebizond has made its move. It's trying to go for Malatya, which I thought it would. Uh, yes, take her hand. All right. And we've got edicts done. And now we have the issue of how do we get to this guy? Well, I guess he can't take it. He can only merely siege it. We fight for you, my lord. And that place is now undefended, which I presumed it would be. And he orders? can march in and take or siege it. We take this settlement for you, my lord. There you go. He can siege that place down. So this should force his army back. We have the better armies, I think. Well, we certainly have all this cavalry, which is so good. It's also, I imagine what's making my uh, economy just so terrible. Because these armies are just full of cavalry. Look at this. 400, 300, 300, 222. Yeah, lots of money being spent on this armies. And probably this one as well, yeah. They're not cheap. We go with heavy, lots lots of cavalry. And uh, nothing else. Surprisingly, Nicaea in turn one did not take on Constantinople, which it should always do. You should always, as Nicaea, take on Constantinople in turn one because it's always undefended. Um, it's such an easy way to get back in and just steal it. Uh, we can see no one else at the moment, so no need to do diplomacy. And there's nothing I can really spend money on, as far as I'm aware, either. Everyone is just so unhappy. It's just not great. End the turn. Yeah, I could. I guess, yeah, I could put some more governors in. Why not? Melee, warrior, landowner. Right. Um, let's put in... 
you want Ankara. Ankara can have it's only minus eight. Um, could put in growth, could put in army, public order. No, I don't want that. Uh, I'm gonna put in growth for now because I can't afford to put everything with uh, one less one. Let's then go over here again. I mean, this guy could be useful. He's a statesman. He won't cost any money as well to give him a place. Um, so let's give you Malatya. Then let's just give all these places some... Uh, like Malatya, I will give growth. Though our growth is just terrible in all of these places. And there you go. I'm not wanting to spend any more money for now. That'll do. That'll do. Yes, I hope you guys are all having great days and uh, are enjoying, well, for me it's very festive weather, even though we're past Christmas. Um, because it's snowing in every part of the country at the moment. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So, maybe they did have other armies. Uh, let's fall back. Oh my gosh, that's just not a full back, is it? Alright, so there you go. Um, we tried to take Snope. They will obviously, like, it'll be weakened. We could go for Trebizond. Now it's, uh, that'll be open. So clearly they, they do have a second army. Maybe they did tr bring it across by sea. Um, and air, all of that's done. And Kyra, what's your garrison like? Pretty reasonable. If I had the second army, I'd probably have a good chance of fighting that, taking them. Trebizond's garrison. I need a spy. I need a spy. Or a priest. Did I build that? Or did I build a... What was I building? Oh, no, I'm building that, yeah. I could do with a priest. Let's spend money on a priest. Cunning. That would really help. Um, but yeah, this guy. He'll do just fine. So then I can start converting these places slowly to Islam. This one's already going. This one is also going slowly. They are turning quite quickly. Um, right. It's just where the, do you think we could take this army? So what have they got here? This is just all militia. This is archers. These are pretty good bow cav. And he's got some pretty good cav here. What's in like... Askaris. Hmm. Maybe. We fight for you, my lord. Uh, let's besiege again. Let them cower before our might. Besieging second And man. then let's bring up the second army. We fight for you, my lord. And then let's try it. See if they'll attack. See if they'll attack. They have no choice. They have to attack. And then I can play defensive. To battle. And just let them come on with their cavalry, which they have less of. And then we kill them. Uh, I could put in another provincial governor. But the terrible candidate is a warrior. I don't really want him as a governor. And then once we've taken that one, we can then go for Trebizond. And then I'll make peace. I don't really want to have to go over to the Crimea and take the Crimea out. I'll let them live in exile up there. Um, oh, they're just going to go into my own lands. Okay. That's fine with me. I mean, that's... Disease outbreak in Ankara. Okay. Um, to victory. None will escape. Could just take it. That's pretty rough. To the could we force him out? Hmm. What's his army like? It's not strong enough to beat anything here, though. That's the thing. I don't think. Also, I have just like... He's going to have to siege it down. I can then just... Bring the other army over. If I, how long till this uh, place just runs out of supplies? Two turns. I would wait for two turns. I mean, it's gonna be eight till it dies. It's not also the greatest of. It's not the greatest of garrisons. Hmm. Ready for battle. Yeah, I'm still quite happy to take the the, uh, the view of if we just. It is an honor to serve you. You're minus one at the moment. Is that just because of your presence here? I wonder if that's just because your prince minus four, minus nine. Let's send you into Ankara for now. There you go. You do that, and then you start converting this place. Yeah, it's only because minus one. Uh, that's brilliant. Uh, Atalaya down here could definitely do with being converted, though. Orthodox Christianity is also rising in that region. That is not good. 
that is possibly someone we want to uh, be helping get under control. Um, and yeah, so I'll just end the turn. I don't think... Uh, what have we got here now? Rider, Warrior. Still just terrible options. Still terrible options. Give me... Uh, like a... I don't know. Someone that gives me good money or something like that. I don't know. I can't actually remember all the, like, the... Yeah, he's just going to raid. Okay. That's fine. Raid in my country. It's already unhappy. Who cares? Mr. Emperor of Trebizond. See? And all you're doing is helping spread religion. <laughs> spread religion. Um, spread uh, disease. Uh, well, that is unfortunate. Where is it now? Oh, it's, no, it's now in their lands. Okay, it's not It's not in my lands anymore. That's fine. Attack! Uh, what's it looking like now? Still the same because it's going to be... One more turn until they start to die, isn't it? I think. Could we just go... Could we just take him out? Yes! Okay, why didn't I do that so long ago? Okay, now just take this place. There you go. Uh, be aggressive, why not? And the Seljuks have taken... So no. Uh, I'll just occupy. There you go. We fight for you, my lord. Um, what's this army looking like? Yeah, we could go over and take him out. Actually, that is a pretty tough fight, apparently. But it's one I'm willing to fight. We've got very little infantry. That's the only issue. Very little infantry um, to protect our archers. But I'm quite happy to fight this. We will use horse archers against them, and we will cut them down. So, uh, yeah, we'll end... Uh, end uh, we'll, uh, we'll enter the battlefield is what I was going to say. And we'll fight this. So, uh, yeah. I mean, hopefully they just send their general and their cavalry just flying out. Like they all, like the AI always seems to do. in Nutella. Just like it killed. Mm. I don't know. They might play a bit more defensive. They've got a lot of slight S archers, javies. If you stay out of range of javies, we should be okay. Just use my archers against those javies. And then I'll just... I don't know. That's militia. I think my spears are better than militia. I think they're like Jun swords. Uh, spears or something like that. Which are kind of okay. So we should be okay here. And once we get rid of this army, there's one less army to deal with. Um, and we can then go on and deal with the Emperor. Dry, there we go. Okay, so yeah, my spears are Jahira Kahars. Okay, they've changed the unit, I think. Or maybe they just never were Jund. I might just be thinking of a different faction. That has the same unit card. Um, let's put these guys into loose formation. They can stand behind there. Yeah, be fire at will, that's fine. Um... Let's put all my like light horse archers on one flank. I'm gonna have them all on this flank here, all on loose formation, all on skirmish mode. You're also on skirmish mode and loose formation, and on the other side with my gulam cavalry, which I need to keep alive. These are some royal gulams, they're good units. And then my gen, which I am gonna also put on this flank. I'm gonna be aggressive with it. And there you go. That's that's us done. We're, we're good to go. We're going to move up to about there. And we're going to fast forward. And they're going to wait at the back of the map by the looks of it. But let's have a look at some of these units while we're waiting, uh, I guess. We'll have a look anyway once they've stopped moving. So yeah, obviously Royal Ghoulams looking very nice. Do love the Royal Ghoulams in this game. Looking very nice. Very Turkish looking. The enemy has been spotted. Uh, and then what we've got here, Senior Ghoulims. This is what they're called, the uh, Horse Archers. They look pretty cool. I presume that the Ghoulims also have bows. Yeah, they do actually have bows out. Are these guys moving? They are moving now. Okay. Uh, my Horse Archers, Turkmen, Light Cav, Light Horse. They are also kind of cool. Again, very light though. So they, if they get hit by an arrow, they're going down. And my Spears. I mean, we see most of these units in, like, multiplayer battles. But I feel like for those that don't often watch my multiplayer battles... You can have a look at them now. They're my spears and the archers are just here. They look pretty nice. Pretty well armoured. So there you go. Uh, I think my general's a royal ghoulam. Oh, no, he's ghoulam bodyguard, so I guess he's slightly different. Yeah, he's kind of a little bit different, but not much. Look at that unit. Looks awesome. They do great jobs, don't they, with the uh, modders? Anyway, uh, carry on moving. This is while I've been looking. There you go. They should get to about there. They should start to react to the Byzantines. Or the Trebizond. Yeah, they're not even moving. Look at this. They saying they're moving fast and then they're not moving fast. <laughs> Instead they're gonna run away. 
Cowards. Come face me. These Trebizine, Trebizuntine Cavaloroi should be able to uh, put up a bit of a fight against my light horse cab, but they're not in loose formation while I am, so it does make them a little bit less effective. Uh, let's go to normal speed now, because we're going to start to see a bit of combat in the form of skirmishing. There you go. Start to fire. Bring, cause them to react. Bring these guys up to about here. Why are you running? What are you doing? Just get back here, man. Just don't want them all to blob up so they uh, like make it easy targets for my Trebizond, for the Trebizond cavalry. They actually are losing a lot of men now. It doesn't help that they're all just getting shot. Uh, like in the rear. They had cavalry there on the left. I need to be careful of that. Um, I kind of put that the wrong way around. Uh, apparently, we're being ambushed. I don't believe so. I like how everyone. Oh, Jen's under attack. Okay, I'm not so worried about that. Uh, spears go to about so. Archers go like so and so. And a bit further back. Form shield wall. Form shield wall. Charging there, charging there. Oh, archers keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. There we go. Okay, we broke that spear. Oh, and we carry on into the next one. Where's their general? He's all the way back here. I'm not even going to worry about him. General, I asked you to move. You're not just supposed to stand there. Uh, archers shoot their javis. Because that was the plan. That was the plan. Keep running, guys. Uh, just charge them in the back. These militia. Shouldn't take too long to kill. Flank them. Where are these? Kill these guys now. They've uh, broken. Broken those uh, spears over on the far side. My archers can come back. And everything over here is winning in some case or another. Oh my gosh, can we just charge this gen? We could just charge this gen. Probably wasn't actually the greatest idea. I might want to get that cavalry out of there. Go in there. Cavalry chase on them. Horse archers come around here. Rich. Oh, yeah. Rear charge these guys. Shoot this up, unit archers. So you have nothing better to do. And then just, I don't know. These guys, I have no idea what I should be doing with them. These guys are losing. Wow, they're actually losing to militia. Maybe this, oh, maybe the Peltastoy are actually kind of decent in combat. They might be the case. But the general's losing. That's the main thing. Now I send some spears in. And they're doomed. Yeah, maybe my spears just aren't that great. Can you just charge them, please? Uh, yeah, my cap, my senior Ghulim should be pretty good in combat, I imagine. The archers just shoot these Peltasts for me. Uh, come over here. Just kill their general. Their kill their general. I don't care about anyone else. Just kill their general. Oh no, there he is. Shoot them down. Kill their Trebizond, uh, Trebizond cavalry. That's the most important thing that we need to be killed off by the general. Oh my gosh, how is this man not dead? There we go, he's dead now. The enemy general is dead! There we go. Alright, end the battle. Decisive victory. We don't need to worry about them anymore. They're all dead. Uh, anything get great kills? 285 kills for our uh, Ghulams. That's pretty good. 
This army's pretty beat, though. We need to just uh, hold it back from doing anything else. Um, we can't really just send it. It's just... Other battles, I mean, it should be okay. The Emperor's now cut off from his, uh, like, kingdom. He needs to somehow get back to his own lands. Uh, and we could just go straight for Trebizond, if we could. I will amalgamate what units we can. And... I also just finished this army off, because I don't want to recruit a new general. Aggressive. There you go, you're dead. And then if I can get this army into Ankara, that'd be quite nice. Because I think Ankara is... Uh, well, not is it Ankara? No, Kaiseria. Kaiseria. Yeah, this place is pretty unhappy. Yeah, let's get him out of the region with pestilence. Put it like that. Um, morale and replenishment would be nice. And then you can have authority. And you can also have... Um, have... I don't know. Yeah, have zeal. Have some zeal. What else you got? Ready for battle. Ah, uh, two more. Wow. Okay. Um. Then have integrity and cunning. Why not? Bit of cunning. And then diplomacy. Can't see anyone new that I want to deal with. Unhappiness is still rife in a lot of regions down here. You're also got some upgrades. Okay. You can have replenishment and authority. There you go. Uh, and this one, uh, oh yeah, you have terrible infantry. What is your infantry? You, what, like, what's the point of it? But like that. Uh, yeah, can't recruit mercs. And uh, we'll just end the turn. Oh, we need provincial governor. We actually got an, a good option though. Attacker, rider, warrior. No. Though we won't actually get a new one because we only have three. Okay, so I'm just going to have to put one of these guys in. Um, it's going to be you. Uh, and you're going into Cappadocia. And you're going to have growth. There you go. And, oh my gosh, you can have another one. Very well, you can have Arslan, this guy, in this place. Oh, we need to repair all this, actually. Um, fields, I don't really want an artisan, so... Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. End the turn. Mission succeeded. Excellent. Right, we did that. Congratulations. We're now very much a uh, a religious p p part of the world. We're in a religious part of the world. Building mosques left, right, and center. They want peace. I bet they do. I want trebs on, pal. Non-aggression. Yeah, that's fine with me. I kind of want to grab this army on the road. Is he in a fort? He is, in fact, in a fort. Yeah. All right. We'll just let him try and get back to his lands. That's fine with me. Um, you can now march onto Trebizond. They won't have an army there. Or they will, like, maybe start recruiting the basics of one. No, not even that. Right, you do that. Uh, my priest has an got an upgrade, which is brilliant, because I need him to inspire public order and spread religion. Like, no man's business. He's doing it quite quickly, but not quickly enough. Put it like that. Um, my Lord. This place is over the moon. Some of these other places down here are not. Like this one here. I may... Fishing docks. Oh, that brings a lot of food, though, for us. As does this tribal lands. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Not so great. I need to keep all these as well. These actually, these tribal lands, they do give me food. What's he better? Oh, yeah, we'd be better off with some of these. And this tab, yeah, it gives me research, but it's not helping with uh, popular, uh, like with happiness. So I need to put in a fund up here as well. Help with happiness. Uh, and then Trebizond. After this, I'm probably going to just start administering and looking after the empire. Uh, you can't do anything there. Walled City. You don't have a garrison, do you? You have a general, like one general. Um, okay. Well, I put in, I put it, built something somewhere that I didn't necessarily need. It was you. I, I do probably need that though. So nope. Mm. We'll come back to that in a bit. You can't probably get to Snope. I don't we know. You 100% can. That's gonna stick you in there. Get to it, man. You're only down by minus one. You can remember that. So we put you into there, you kind of keep that happy for now. Okay. 
And then we've got loads of car now we've got loads of uh, stuff for all my uh, governors. Okay, brilliant. Governor needs that, and he also needs that. Every single one of them are going to need, like, that. There you go. These are just going to make them all happy. And... Uh, go there, and then also go... I don't know, have another oral authority. There you go. It's all going to now be slightly happier, which is brilliant, because that's what I really need. Give me the happiness that I'm desperate for in these regions. The governor's going to have to keep them, like, in place until I can uh, sort out the buildings, which could be a little while. Could be a little while. There you go. They're just going to raid again. Okay, fair enough. I will bring the army back and I'll burn this little army to the ground. Bring my hordes of cavalry. Fourth Council of thingies gonna do some crusading okay um, don't think I can reach I think I'm GM just short that's very frustrating but you stood there ready that's the main thing they can raid all they want I'm gonna start besieging their settlement that is a bigger army that's fine I will siege them out how many turns do they start to run out of supplies six turns okay Six turns I can do. Six turns I can do. Yeah, minus seven. It's not so good. Um, I need to put all the buildings into here. Right. You could be converted. We are okay on food at the moment. It's, it's going to be like happiness and uh, religion. Yeah, religion is still going down. Could get rid of that then. I kind of need something in here. I don't want to save up for an earthen mosque. I might do that. Save up for an earthen mosque next turn. And then we'll see what we can do. And this will probably be the last turn of this episode. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it. We have had a little bit of a... A little bit of a battle. We've had a bit of a, of a battle with Trebizond. Who are now just carrying on further into my lands. Which is annoying. At least I can send this army down here. And then go and garrison Atalea. Which is probably one of my most... Unhappy provinces probably is the most unhappy province. Smallpox, probably slowly followed by uh, spread. Yeah, I'm doing that. That's my next job. Earth, <laughs> just make it the majority religion. Um, then you can have authority and then spread religion influence again. Food shortage in Falangafia, which is up here. That's fine. I'm going to be sorting that out. I actually shouldn't have got rid of that field. I should have kept it. Probably should have kept it. You can't reach Gen, which is infuriating, but we'll just carry on the chase. Uh, and Atalaya isn't going to rebel anytime soon. It's slowly coming under control. Uh, Malatya should soon also be happy again. Uh, Kaiser is pretty happy, but it's got actually got the disease, which is not making it so happy. Minus two and Ankara, okay. Um... And yeah, we're just seizing down Trebizond. I don't think we can see anyone new. No. Yeah, you been the empire is just vast. It really is. I must extend. Um, and I honestly don't think I could Do get trade with these. Yeah, I don't think I could get trade from them. Nicaea still hasn't taken Constantinople. What are they doing? Um, but there you go. I may just for trade nice here at some point anyway so who knows they're very looking ripe for the taking as to the Ubids, i'd like to go in and take some of the uh islamic lands back because uh well they're easier to govern than all these orthodox ones put it like that even though we are slow to convert in them um it's taken a little while but there you go guys i hope you have enjoyed this first part of the seljuk campaign i certainly have it's certainly been an interesting start um we are probably gonna have a lot of rebellions in the coming turns um, we've sorted out the economy nicely. The food could obviously do with being uh, dealt with next. Um, whether we have any... Do we have any, this place? Oh, well, it may have had food stuff, but we'll never know. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be sorting out that food issue next. And uh, probably building... Maybe probably we'll be rebuild that field. I probably shouldn't have destroyed it. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, part, this first part, do remember to leave a like, subscribe for new on here, and leave a comment to show your support. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.